welcome student now we studied about the mind mapping in detailed study already we know what is the mind mapping how we draw who making the mind mapping system okay now we can go into the other side mind mapping is a type of graphic organizer that use a diagram to visually organize ideas and concept the central idea or concept is placed in the center of the diagram and then related ideas are added to it in a radial fashions mind maps are used to help structure information to gain a better understanding mind mapping you see always what you see the sun radiate some line you see the same way the mind mapping drawing you can see it concept of mind mapping mind mapping is a way of linking key concept using images lines and links a central concept is linked via lines to other concept which in turn are linked with other associate ideas mind mapping uses the concept of radiant thinking you see radiant thinking is a different one generally we think generally we think we are always in linear thinking no but in mind mapping induce the person in the radial thinking the creative thinking that is thoughts radiate over radiate out from a single idea often express an image mind mapping is a diagram used to visually organize information a mind map is hierarchical and show relationship among piece of the whole it is often created around a single concept draw as image in the center of a blank page to which associated representations of idea such as images words and parts of words are added major ideas are connected directly to the central concept and other ideas branch out from those major ideas your generally mind the brain you see brain as um separated in this lab you see left brain and right brain some of the work of the left brain always logical uh, mathematics um, um language also in the left brain but in right brain understand about the picture creativity some of the advanced one creativity you see in this uh, in the imagination also in the right brain the concept um, in generally we think abos in the um, college in the study in the college and the school we study mostly in use left brain but in this concept of mind mapping two sides of brain will use in the mind mapping because you see in the left brain always words and the some of the words on uh, mathematics using in the left brain right brain images of uh, images imagination uh, creativity also it hold in the mind mapping mixed in this type left we both uh, side left and right brain we always uses in two sides of minds it induce one person mind maps can also be drawn by hand either as notes during a lecture meeting or planning session for example 
or as a higher quality picture when more time is available mind maps are considered to be a type of a spider diagram a similar concept in the 1970s was idea sun bursting you can see what the important one in it can use as a notes during the lecture you see uh, when a lecture um, in the class a student may draw a corner of this the blank this margin of the books write down is some picture that is important to you in the mind mapping always see it induces the memory yeah uh, lesson this is this button in this mind mapping as like a spider diagram this concept you understand it is on the one idea sun bursting sun radiate like why is sun radiating as in mind mapping development of mind mapping although the term mind mapping was first popularized by british popular psychology author and television personality tony buzan the use of diagrams that visually map information using and radial maps trace back centuries this pictorial method record knowledge and the model systems and have a long history in learning brainstorm memory visual thinking and problem solving by educators engineers psychologists and others bosons tony bosons specific approach and the introduction of the term mind map arose during a 1974 bbc a uh, television series he hosted called use mind use your head in this show and the companion book series bosan promoted his conception of radial tree diagramming keywords in a colorful radiant tree like structure you see Professor, uh, the profile of uh, Tony Buson. You see the center of the picture. A uh, Tony Buson is how. Uh, what is the? You see the different color. You see. He is author. He is educator, sportsman. He is intelligence. He is media person. He is advisor. Achievements. He is a softer. He is softer. Uh, important one. See, I mind map. The he is a softer. Softer. what is the author author uh, into uh, subdivision into poetry countries languages and so on world cities he visited there some of the you see the fundamental of the um, picture in mind mapping profile uh, the tony bosons profile explain his whole uh, in the whole uh, explanation about the tony bosons as the inventor of mind mapping he is the world's prominent expert on mental literacy on this subject tony bosan has written over 100 best selling books translated into 150 languages and read by millions of people worldwide tony bosan is an expert in the field of the thinking process creativity and innovations mind mapping is used by approximately 250 million people in the world you see furthermore tony bosan is an authority on the principles of learning productivity and efficiency he has provided consulting services to large international organizations such as microsoft ibm walt disney Encyclopedia Britannica, Barclays International, McLaren Technology, British Telecom, the Royal Mail, Goldman Sachs, Oracle, Stabilo, BBC, BP, Lichtenstein Global Trust, 
most organization he work in this um, um, for the mind mapping and uh, consulting service he do most he do uh, many service in consulting as a consulting tony busan is also an excellent and regular speaker in the field of the thinking process creativity and innovation how to create a mind map in five steps it is important to you uh, for the studies also we continue uh, first create a central idea the concept idea is the starting point of your mind map and it represents the topic you are going to explore and the branches to your map you can add to the branch add keywords color code your branches include visual signifiers example you imagine you add to the images in the line create a central idea the central idea is the starting point of your mind map and it represents the topic you are going to explore you have already seen the uh, profile of um, tony boson is this pro tony boson is a central point central topic this should be in the center of your page and can include an image or color that fits with the mind maps topic you can see the image the tony boson in the picture previous picture we see different colors different colors you see this draws attention and triggers association as our brain respond better to visual stimuli the colors it stimuli stimulus uh, the induce our brain you see in this basic one or uh, the central um, idea add branches to your map to next step to get your creative juice flowing is to add branches the main branches which flow from the central images on the key themes you can explore each of the themes in greater depth by adding child branches branches main branches and child branches you see main branches are the thick line child branches thin line you see they were the different one the beauty of mind map is that you can keep adding new branches and you are not restricted to just a few option remember the way your mind map spans out will come naturally as you add more ideas and your brain freely draws new association from the different concepts add keywords when you add a branch to your mind map you will need to include a key idea try to keep this idea as brief as possible this will allow you to speak of a greater number of association compared to longer more complex phrases for example if you include summer garden party in a july on the branch you are restricted to the aspects of the party you have already specified however if you split this into a few keywords summer and garden party you can explore more possibility for each branch by adding a variety of different keywords some examples are presents cakes and gazebo add keywords continue uh, limiting words to key phrases on such a branch also works well for chunking information not confusing this information to into core topics and themes the use of keywords trigger connection in your brain and allows you to remember a large quantity of information color code your branches mind mapping encourages whole brain thinking as it brings together a wide range of cort cortical skills logical and numerical 
to create and is special. The bubble up of such skills make your brain more synergetic and maintains its op optimal working level. Keeping these cortical skills isolated from one another does not help brain development, which is a mind mapping seeks to do. Color code your branches continue. One example of whole brain thinking is color coding is your mind maps. Color coding links the visual with the logical and helps your brain to create mental shortcuts. It allows you to categorize highlights, analyze information and identify more connections which would not have previously been discovered. The colors is a different one, different line, different colors you see. In the main core, in the central point is a thick line and the branches is a child thin line. Include visual signifiers, example images you can add and don't forget to add images and other visual images to your mind map as images have the power to convey much more information than a word. Sentence or event as a says. What is the important? Images are processed instantly by the brain. The act is usual stimuli to recall information. They are also universal language that can overcome any language barrier. You see, it is freely allow the person in the world by a visual stimuli to recall information. In short of mind mapping base, central theme, a central theme is placed in the center of a blank page. Association from the central theme, associations radiate out, curved lines associate are often draw as curved lines, keywords mind maps summarize information, proximity, nearness, the nearer to the another information, colors and the Images. This is the shortcut of the mind mapping basic. How to make a mind map? Take a blank piece of paper without lines and turn it sideways. You see the landscape layout. You always mind map always draw in the landscape layout. You see. Start from the center of the page and work towards the edges. Make the center a clear and a strong picture that shows the main point of the map. Or use a word or to as a title, you may draw a circle around it. You see the picture, main picture, main central theme of this picture is central one. For the first subheadings or points, draw a line out from this circle any direction. One of this line or toward the end of it draw a picture or write a keywords to show this new point. Circle this two. For individual facts to do with this point draw new lines out. Go back to the center to record your next subheading. Your map will resemble on the spreading branches roots of tree. Remember to make a mind map, a print in lower case letters, you write in the lower case letters, use only one or few words at a time, use picture or symbols, they may be better than words for you, use color for different branches, ideas, use color to make things stand out, anything that is stand out on the page will stand out in your mind. Think in 3D, you can hold picture in 3D picture you see. Use arrow to show links between different parts. Don't get stuck in one areas. If you dry up in one areas, go to another branch. You see, you can uh, giving the information to one area. It is stuck, you can go to another branch, you see, 
and remember repeated something fill in the banks laterally we think in this we make in the mind map put ideas down as they come to you wherever they fit you don't have to finish one part before starting another don't judge or hold back if you run out your space don't start your new sheet paste more paper in the map be creative be creative its memory it is basic to help the its memory ease of mind mapping according to research mind mapping improves learning information recall productivity creativity and more it enables meaningful learning it helps with memorizing and retention it is a more engaged form of learning it makes complex issue easier to understand mind map help a student to note note down only the most important information using keywords and then make a connection between the facts and ideas usually keeping all of your topic thoughts together on one sheet this make note making easier to students as to reduce pages of notes in to one single side of paper uses of mind mapping generally we see mind map will help your memory is a basic for the memory already i explained you what the what your brain is left and the right brain what the left brain doing and the right brain doing uh, doing in this uh, scientifically it is important to improve your memory mind maps will help you think mind maps will help you get organized some you see the pictures always clear of the name into subordinate pair lines you see mind maps will help see how information is linked mind maps can save your time when you go to the exam you can see the mind map you can remember all the things in one mind map mind maps allow you to get away from only using words and the full sentence mind maps should only take up one side of paper so you write less mind maps can help you to see the whole and how the parts work together new ideas can be added easily without a rewriting many people also find that the making of a mind map is a painless way of studying when they go to the exam these people start by making their mind maps and then they use them to do exam mind mapping making the same map over and over again will help your memory mind mapping helps students generally in the shortcut we see here a mind map is a kind of a framework it is way of helping your organize visualize and summarize its purpose is to give you better way to store information on one page many topics can be studied and revised easier and more meaningfully by making a mind map mind maps can be made by hand or by using special program on the computer mind mapping as students mind maps can be used to take notes in class take notes from textbook find main ideas plan easy to homework or in exam revise for exams work through problems brainstorm ideas list of the 20 best mind mapping software of 2020 20 24 your software i given to you the i mind i mind q mind domino mind map mind manager already i see this mind manager software i am already use this one mind ma- uh, mind manager mind mister storm board mind node the brain lucid chart kako Google, Mind Genius, BP, 
simple mind e draw mind map o ho a this is now um, tony bosan created the i in mind map this is collaborative in the o ho a smart draw i uh, use it this smart draw i am already using this one but uh, tony bosan's mind map is very beauty i draw many more uh, mind map in this software i mind free mind capital dragon hub create creatively mindly when gets go concord this is the best software in the 2020 summary of mind mapping mind maps can give you an effective method of taking notes and planning essays mind maps will help you see the structure of subject the important facts and how they are linked how mind maps are you are alone once you understand how to make them you can develop your own ways to take things further do not be afraid to invent this more you make quicker and better you will get making them as you get better you will see how useful they are to you a uh, tony bosan what it was a uh, tony bosan explained whatever you are disciplined became a student and excels in all things the ever opportunity to observe people who manifest the qualities of mastery so you can study you can use this uh, mind map in your life in your uh, taking in the class okay thank you